Welcome back to the Wheel of Universal Depression. I have no idea what, again, I'm going to be streaming some of these on Twitch. Go follow on Twitch, it's on the screen and in the description. This one is suspect. Oh, if you, only you can imagine what country uh, I, I might be playing. <laughs> okay, no one has answered me on why is there like smudges on the screen? Can you see that? Like, be warned, this is gonna be a meta thing. So, I, yeah, just spam out a bunch of cavalry, honestly. Switch everything over to cavalry so then you get the equipment back. Um, throw most of it onto guns, delete your shitty planes and your navy, and then uh, just build subs and make sure to train them, get that extra army XP, and just go. This is like the most fun nation to play because it's insanely strong. I mean, you start with this, which is an extra 5% organization. Pretty nice. And then you got this, which makes you build a lot faster than every other country. So once these hit 20, that's when you hit deploy. And then shift clicked on that and make it a high priority. And then give them all to this army and switch them to the infantry division. This will force manpower into the army and we're looking for it to hit 500k there it is so now this unlocks the Angelus focus which will annex austria and then we can do everything else right after it so and france might declare war on us because this is alternate history that also gave us political power so we're gonna go for rudolf hess and then the next one we will go for martin borman we're also gonna make an agency or I forget, and these are 20%, so throw them in, switch you all over to infantry. It would be really funny if I could um, kill Poland in 30, 36 and a half or whatever. So I got 170, and now we need Martin Borman. Now we gain two per day while doing a focus. There's Angelus. And now we're demanding the Sudan then. Uh, go up to Warico. <laughs> Then I'll use this army for volunteers. We got we annexed Austria before the Spanish Civil War is even broken out. And they conceded. Now we own the Sudetenland and Eastern Sudate. And keep on going down. Now the first Vienna award will give uh, Hungary Southern Slovakia, which they got a claim on. Go like this, prepare, and then I uh, hit this little green button for operations. Surprise, the Spanish Civil War has not broken out yet. There it is. Oh, God. That will give us tons of... Okay, we have other plans. Partition it with Hungary. Uh, we can chill out on taking stuff. We're going to find an infantry leader. Uh, von Witzelben shall be good. And we'll just give you one of these guys. Usually the way you win these battles is by Cass. Because Cass does org damage. Uh, okay, this is prepared. We got to put this onto silent. These two commence automatically repeat. Uh, this will give us collaboration in France, who will give us their industry, which we want. Well, this is a very strange Spanish Civil War. This is not normal. I might end up sending volunteers to this Poland. Alright, now that we have 50 air XP, we can go for industry liaisons. And it'll give us a 30% total boost on the fighter. We need build out. We need that supply. Please, we're gonna force attack. Pull an AI. Alright. We got the supply, we should be good. Okay, well, world tension's pretty high. I know I did uh, Sudetenland really early, but that means Poland is gonna get guaranteed no matter what. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what this means for my collaboration government. Okay, it means this France. I can send six volunteers. So I need to keep that investment. Oh God, that this is gonna be so cursed. Organizer is almost done, so is Mountaineer. This France has no divisions. Um, I'll give you another infantry leader, Blaskovitz. Need to clean out this really fast. All right, now it's just north versus south. All right, free sieves. How about more sieves? Oh boy. Okay, well, they're sending back divisions. And I don't want to deal with this. They're at war with the rest of Spain. This is Hoi 4 in a nutshell. Just, it's just the Spanish Civil War. That's really what Hoi 4 is. It's just the Spanish Civil War simulator. Cancer are we going to create today? this i'm not sending those back i wonder if attaches get affected by how much or how many advisors they have okay we are going to do medium tanks 97 
I'm glad that he can earn traits even though he's not here. Is anyone else here like a Minecraft bat whenever I hit the air zone mode? Hold on, that was bad. Yeah. It's at the very end. I can't wait for the comment section to like be all paranoid or make me paranoid. No, we don't we don't hear anything. So I have four armor technology bonuses. Okay, and now we can hire a Rommel, which is 15% extra attack on tanks, which will be huge when we make really good tanks. In about 50 days, I will have my plane, shove all my mills onto it. Here's why this Germany is so overpowered. It is 1938, and this is my production queue, or construction queue. Look how many civs I own. Nin 97, only 14 for consumer goods. The only thing better than that would probably be like an America without the Great Depression. There isn't a much better economy than this, and I got 37 mils as well on top of that. I am 90% ready to go to war. <laughs> And I'm researching this artillery piece just for the, uh, there it is. Yeah, this one. Medium howitzer. 35, soft attack. But now we can get max engine and upgrade weapons. 50% world tension at 38. So the Spanish director is actually kind of holding out. No! That means they lost their, uh, their ideas. Uh, 40 days. I bet you all their divisions are in Africa. They're all fighting down here. And they only got 40. I can actually get this a lot faster. I just did this. Then did this. 10 days. Okay. We're gonna get the Alsace boys. We're, we're gonna get the Maginot line. We're so lucky. I'm gonna pin all of them. Move my cast over here. I know we get one attack on it, but the cast, I'm gonna be able to just kill them immediately. Uh, the beauty of non-historical AI. <laughs> except I won't have any of the war participation. They will capitulate when 40%, 47% or less. Killed France before I did Dance Secret War. They're gonna liberate all of Africa. No way, they actually got Paris. I can't take more than one state per turn. This makes me wanna snap someone's neck. No, 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 I am killing whoever. Who popped it? Turkey! You're not even a... How does Turkey get more of France than the person that capitulated him? Your game makes no sense. I shouldn't have to buy a DLC to fix your stupid peace deals. Okay. Declare war. Why? Who liberated you? I... I hate peace deals so much. Look at all this rubber that I could have had. Could have had 12 here and... 92 over here. Ah. Uh, 6 and 7. Okay, now they launch. And no one's there. No one's home. <laughs> this game is so dumb. Uh, not one garrison. Not a single person at the beach. I'm not even going to send my tanks over there. I'm just going to let the planes do its job. They're trying to leave. No way, bro. I'll try to take all the ports I can, so then you cannot risk antagonizing the world in 1939 when it's 100% world tension. We can't send the Tripartite Pact. Allies would hate us. See, there it is. Italy ends up with more war score than Germany. That's definitely how it's meant to be. Little twat. Stealing all of Poland from me and you think he can get away with it? How do you even do this, Paradox? How do you let Poland or Italy annex all of Poland in a peace deal? What? No, I'm not letting anyone into the Axis ever again. In fact, I'm kicking you, Bulgaria. Who else is in this? Mexico? Gone. See, if you can't even defend your own homeland, you shouldn't be able to annex more land than me. Look how cursed this name placement is. And look how cursed Hungary looks. N no, what? <laughs> Why would I give up Wilno? That's a that's a whole sieve right there. You don't intimidate me. Alright, world record. Denmark capitulation. Time to do <laughs> Operation um, Barbarossa during winter. I can invite the Soviet Union into my faction. Just gonna... I'm just gonna steal their oil supply real quick. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so nice because they're in a civil war already. Uh, okay, you boys are going to snake to Moscow. I do, I do not have enough divisions for this. I need to hurry this up. Okay, so Kurdistan is looking, uh, <laughs> looking real, uh, real nice there. 
I am trying my best just to run around the Soviet divisions to make them capitulate faster, but uh, I feel like border gore would be a great justification of war. <laughs> How wonderful. And it's just me and Kurdistan. Ah, yes. The way it was meant to be. No! I have to click every single state in the Soviet Union. Well, this might be one of the world re record runs of me. I know it's 1940. Like, that's not that great. But, like, just in overall wartime. Killing this much? That? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, today's lesson. Don't ever al ally the AI or let them into your peace deals. Or else this will happen. How did I end both of my wars before you even finished the Spanish Civil War? Yep. And then our very last lesson of the day. Zoiban, Zoiban Kurdistan needs to be extra dummy thick. I love Peter Griffin. He's so funny.